Hello, as I say, Osiejo is the correct way to say it. And my topic today is part two of these wannabe journalists. And the time now is 7.44 p.m. Sunday. And what, before I get started, I must give praises to the Most High. But without Him, you won't exist. And you have to always be ready to have many machone. That means water is life. Now, to get top, to get on the, my subject on this topic, I just saw a video about these journalists. And um, if a cop ain't engaging you, he don't have to answer you. That's a policy. But y'all don't seem to understand policy or rule or anything. And and I know y'all hate cops. Y'all pimping that uh, amendments. It's like a pastor would pimp a Bible. Just like a man would pimp a woman. It's all wrong. And I heard a woman say, this is my car. We pay your salary. Well, if, if y'all got that much juice and power as y'all think y'all do, why I never see none of you fakers try to get in a police car and drive over? You know your ass will get arrested. So you ain't in control. And my uncle, I said in my other video, my uncle said he's a state trooper for 30 years in New York. He never shot nobody. He was a very cool, calm, collected person. He didn't know no need for that. Y'all just using this. This is not about half the things I watch y'all do. It's not about no amendments or rights. Y'all doing that for clout. Views, and you want them to engage you. You hate them, but you need them. So stop using people. Be real. Y'all not real, and 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 y'all know y'all doing it for clout and money. You ain't doing that shit for free. That's why I get angry with y'all. And my uncle said, I know y'all probably seen the other video. My uncle said, and when they did, when they take you swore to take an oath, nowhere in his oath said he has to talk to you. That's why a lot of cops remain silent sometimes. That burns y'all up because y'all getting no, get no reaction out of y'all and some bullshit ass journalists want to be turn y'all uh, clout chasers uh, or all that stuff. That's why I know y'all ain't in control. You may be in control some, but y'all want to be the Lord. Y'all want people to bow down to y'all like y'all God or Jesus Christ. You ain't going to never get that title. Telling the cops to go F and seven, go F your mother and all that stuff. Journalists don't talk like that. Yeah, that's why y'all ghetto as hell. A real journal, I ain't never heard a real journal cuss nobody out like that and stuff like that. Y'all don't be cordial or nothing. Y'all be waiting for them reaction. I, I, I hate one of y'all to try to say something to me. Everything y'all do is wrong. And I told the great four, you think they doing that for free? Some of them making $30,000 a month. They doing that because it's money. They don't care who toes they step on. They just like King Kong. He step on people. Y'all fake bootleg of Kong too. Even he don't act like that. Or like to try to rule somebody unless you come into their world. Y'all uh, like to harass people. I don't care what y'all say. That is right. I've seen so many of y'all videos. It's a damn shame what y'all do. This is a way to make money. Go get a respectable job. You don't see. I've seen other people do good Things, but y'all like to do nasty, evil thing, but that's the demon was inside of y'all. Y'all know how to control it. Everybody got a good side and a bad side, but y'all only like the bad side, and y'all like to uh, ridicule people and put them down and think that y'all so great. Everything don't last forever. Y'all gonna stop harassing people, and and, and what is all this? Uh, look at the police car. That, that that's stupid. That's not no rights or nothing like that. Ain't nothing y'all do. Ain't y'all rights on there never be violated. Y'all use that. Like I said, they pimp that that um amendments. They hide behind it like a a, a pimp. Y'all pimps, modern day pimps with the with the amendment. Y'all pimping that. That's I'm old school, but I'm I'll be 65 this week. My birthday is July 27th, and y'all can't tell me nothing. Y'all are young, and even some of these older ones. I can't say young people. A lot of older people act stupid than some young people, and, and, and what y'all do is not right. I have a lot of cops who watch my channel. Well, I'm not big or like 
like a lot of y'all claim to have 90 million views. I don't even believe half of y'all because at least you can pay for your, your views and stuff like that and subscribe to your own channel. That's why you, you don't never, and I don't believe y'all biggest CNN all them places. You don't see them go out. What is that? Is that the Constitution going in feminine police car? That looks so retarded. I never, I never seen journalists even look a real journal look at nobody's car, but he ain't got no reason for it. Y'all is being a goddamn nuisance. That's why, like I said before, that's my car. We pay for anything you do. Well, if it's your car, get in and drive it, goddamn, and stop talking bullshit. That's why I know y'all bullshit. I ain't never ever seen no YouTuber what 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 y'all really is, you know, journalist. Uh, uh I never seen no none of y'all say I'm a taxpayer, I pay yourself, we pay for this car. Well, if it's your car, drive it, goddamn it. I talk all that bullshit back up that you talk. Because y'all can't. Y'all always say, well, that's my car. Get in the car and drive it off. You know, committed so many felons and stuff like that. You take a police car and see what happened to you. So it, that's that's y'all just clout chasing. Y'all don't pay people to be in your video. I like what the other Mexican guy do. His channel is nice. He give people money for buying their goods. That's conducted. But y'all would never do nothing like that because that's not the kind of content y'all like. Y'all like to cuss people out, try to get people fired, and like to sue. That's y'all platform. That's your format. It's a bad one. And I told people before, stop calling them bosses because they're not your boss. The word boss means, look it up, it means you're an overseer. they the new slave master. I was talking about this is not Germany, where y'all treating people like slaves in this country. You can't move without their approval. The cop can't sit down and take a break unless you got to know what the fuck. Excuse me. For when let him know what, what he's doing. That's why I call this bad journalism. That's the name of this topic. And I don't like what y'all do, but it's not up to me to say anything. Some some are gonna have to change. Y'all gonna be nice and, and the cop be nice to y'all, y'all still be nasty. Soon as y'all walk up to the cop, come here, come here, like he's your like he I heard one of them said that they you ain't my father. I don't I was a, I could have been no cop. I said, Well you he would say, you ain't my father, you ain't my father, so I don't have to listen to your, uh, your sorry ass. And, and, and y'all never do no better yet. Y'all attack women. I don't even see how you be around your mother. She's a woman that, like I said, my husband, you tell her not to wear makeup or fingernail polish or, or, or all that stuff. If a woman's going to work, she don't have a right to look nice. Maybe it's not in a rule. If it was a rule, they could say the cop can't wear... um. Makeup, but there's no rules. So when she's not bothering you, that's how y'all try to hurt the woman. But you will lay down and have sex with one of them. So y'all, uh, uh, y'all don't know if y'all coming or going. And and I feel sorry for a lot of people. A lot of times that lady said that law gonna change one day. You ain't gonna be able to go in no post over the fem dumb walls and the floor, and, and y'all camera be always shaking and stuff like that. Do something productive, like what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to raise money. My GoFundMe page. I'm gonna go there in person because I don't trust those GoFundMe page. But later they took some of her money out of her account. I want to go to New Mexico in person when I get my money right. And me and my wife, we are gonna give the, the the Native American Pueblo village stoves ourselves. Because sometimes you, if you send something through the mail, they can take the money and stuff like that. And I want to go there in person. But those are my brothers too, so I want to help me and my wife. But back to what I was saying, uh, it's not nice to what y'all do. You know, it's a way of talking to people. Sometimes a cop can be so nice and show y'all respect, but y'all don't give him no respect either. That's why if I was a cop, I said, nowhere in my oath said I have to talk to your dumb behind. I wouldn't say a damn word. They can't make you say nothing to them. They're going to pull a gun to your head. You're going to tell me what, uh, and they always ask for them stupid uh, um, ID number for what? And they ain't going to do nothing. Like this, I'm going to make a complaint. Y'all don't want to be wasting taxpayers' money by walking there doing all that bull crap. And then I see some of them um, tell their followers um, flood the police station, keep calling. Why would you do that? If, if, if a person had a real crime and a, and the, somebody can be sh getting shot, the person can't get through because y'all telling people to do that stupid stuff. 
So y'all don't want to be doing things in, in order and lay y'all must have got something to hide. But y'all don't never like to say what you got. Like I said before, a lot of them have got criminal records. That's why they like, I don't have answer questions. But I would say, well, in my oath, I don't have to answer questions too. There's nowhere in the oath of constitution, right, or amendments that said that a cop had to answer you. I only seen one cop, like I said in another video, he did it. He said, I'm not going to play this game with you here. They say, you shouldn't, I'm not playing a game. You should be proud of your job description. It's not a job description. He's uh, 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 not answering you. He not answering you, but he know what you're trying to do. It ain't a, never been about of rights and stuff. It's about money. Money. That's what y'all base y'all on money. It's like that record with the OJ made for the love of money. Well, y'all sure love money. Y'all don't love no damn rights. Y'all don't even probably read the Bible or nothing. Y'all just a uh, uh, wicked ass people with a chip on your shoulder and you always think y'all got to prove that y'all right all the time. Some things y'all be right, but not all the time. And and when when you tell them that it, like they go something, they put their foot in the door try to try to force their way in buildings. That's not journaling. That's being an ignorant ass fool. That's why my son, he can't stand none of y'all because it's all about money. And and, 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 and y'all always ask that dumb ass question. Um, what's the Third Amendment? I know what it is. mean no soldiers in my home. They, they, they said that don't even pertain to a cop. So why do you ask? He don't even have to answer you. And a lot of cops try to answer. And do they know how heck uh, the see y'all ain't being pressured when a cop don't remember some of the amendments? It's not like he's dumb or nothing like that. That job is very dangerous and hectic. You don't got no dangerous job. All y'all do is run around and make money. And that's all y'all uh, uh, after the money. I bet y'all see dollar signs in front of y'all eyes when you see a cop doing a traffic sign. Money, money, money. Let's go over there. And I even heard something. Let's go F with the cop. Why? That's a troublemaker. When you hear you as a man that you're a troublemaker, that's why they call them things in that movie, Gremlin. A gremlin it means that a, a gremlin like to start trouble, like to start shit. And that's what y'all do, y'all little gremlins. And uh, and I want to do something productive. I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. Everybody got freedom of speech, so I just call it as I see it. And I see what the other guy do, Um, Long Island Audit. Oh, he's a no, my, my son's his voice is so goddamn annoying. Every time he hear, hello, this is Long Island Audit, back with another video, you know. But son, and 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 he and like he when he can't get his way, I never seen nobody that persistent, and they not fighting for nobody's rights. One guy said, "I'm doing it for y'all rights." Who asked you to? Cause y'all ain't about no rights. Y'all about y'all wallet and your but your money and your paper and cheddar, all that good stuff. That's what y'all about. I have not seen one YouTuber. Say that, because it's all about money, and like I said, my other they be telling criminals, other criminals, don't go down that street or the cops down there. That's a criminal move. Why would you tell another? And then y'all so guilty. I seen people do that right here in Connecticut. Yeah, because I was talking to this cop right away. They thought I was snitching on the cops. And mind you, been we were talking about cars and stuff. If you if you had that paranoia, you would even walk in the street. That's how a lot of y'all is, and they know. Why cops don't like nobody walking in back of them because they try to play dumb like, oh, you feel uh, not safe? He got a dangerous job. I seen cops on news. They show sometimes a cop get hit in the back of his head, hit with all kinds of things. That's why the, the, the he's uh, don't like you walking back. Y'all know. Y'all just pretend y'all know because y'all trying to get them little fake stories that y'all be coming out, out there with. And, um... I would like to see somebody do something productive, but not one of y'all. Y'all all follow the same script. Y'all must have borrowed y'all little script, uh, um, action script writers, because all y'all say the same thing, every last one of y'all, and stuff like that. And uh, I just look at y'all. Sometimes, when a cop, I want to say nothing to y'all. Y'all try to make him say something to y'all. He has a right, he's assigned that spot. He's not just hanging out. And then y'all always pretend like, there's so many cops, I even had all the miracle when y'all was in New York that time. He know why they, and somebody, this is tax, people wait some dollars. No, it's not. 
y'all try to assume that y'all know what, what they talking about. The reason New York have, a, I'm from New York. The reason New York have so many cops in Times Square area, area where people get robbed there, and they said, I appreciate they feel safe when the cops stand there. Y'all just go there to be a nuisance, probably like y'all know why he's standing there. He's standing there because that's his assignment. That like reported, he, he gets signed to go someplace. When I get up in the morning, I do my normally routine. I shower. Well, first I work out. I do uh, two hours of my Taekwondo on the back porch. Then I take my shower, get myself together, eat my breakfast, and I go, and go outside and do my, my everyday activity. I go to the doctor, supermarket. I cook for my wife. Um, I talk to my son. And... um. It is a routine. I do the same thing every day. Well, not every day. And I, I do my prayers and stuff like that. But prayers to help. Prayers are just like a healing process. Like a person get healed by a doctor. Prayer can heal you. You pray to the Almighty, the head man, the head hacho, head cheese. Um, that's who you pray to. And I thank the Creator for my mother long as she held out and lived. My mother was almost 100 years old when she passed away. My mother was the oldest of 20 children. My grandmother had 10 boys and 10 girls. All the last one of them served in the military. All of them is deceased. Now my uncle, he died last year. I was the last remaining uncle. He was 100 years old. So, if people like my video, comment, share, and like. I have to go now because I'm going to eat me some ice cream and do my meditation and pray for people to act right. Stop torturing one another. And if, if a person do something good in any ethnic person, even my friend, he said the same thing I said. It's, uh, he's, a, he's an African-American guy. Yeah, when a black person gets success, I mean, some he could have got a decent instead of giving him his property. Another black person, he's there coming to try to destroy this other black person. But, uh, when I see somebody with something nice, I must have never praised the person. or so You don't know why he got that. When I see a person with a nice car, I said, nice car. I don't praise it because you don't know why he got that car. He could be a hitman for the mob. He could be a murderer or a corner producer that make all kinds of movies. So you never praise what people got. You can just admire it. That's all. But I don't stand there. Oh, wow, this is pretty. Wow, you have seen people, and people envy people, and people want what other people got. I never thought like that, never. And like my wife, she could tell you, much as we argue, I never call her a bitch or F you. I don't talk like that to her. And she could tell you herself, but she sleep. I see God just cuss girls out for no reason. And I don't like to call girls bitches either. And even though I even heard other girls said, that's my bitch, but it's not a good word. But, you know, I, that's what they like to be called. But when a man said he's being derogatory, that's why I don't celebrate holidays like, like I used to, like picnic. Picnic come from when a white person used to kill a Euro descent person. When a European descent person used to kill a black person or an Indian, they'll spread a blanket down there and have a feast. And, and that's what picnic me and me pick a nigga to kill. Picnic. And, uh, and, and a girl said, that's where I come from. I said, yup. They would have a, a, a picnic while your body is laying there. And I'm going to tell you something about some Europeans. It was so disgusting. They would take their bread and dip it in a, in a slave or an Indian's blood, use it for sauce, and eat it. That's how corrupt they was. Easter, I think, do come from the, the, the lady's name, Esther. Um, I had to dig more into that because I don't like to say nothing. I don't know what I'm talking about. And um I saw something but I didn't. Yeah, it looked like <laughs> I thought I was bugging out. And um that's all I got to say, but y'all gotta be more nice and my topic of this video is wanna be journalists. Part two. So, 
what I had to say. I hope people like what I say. I'm not trying to bash anybody. I'm just speaking my truth. And if you like this, like I said, comment, share, like. I'm not forcing nobody to watch my stuff. You don't like it, like it. So Donna Da Wado means bless you and take care and have a pleasant night. And Yawish means thank you for watching my continent. So.